20 minutes after 5, waking up to some calmer weather early on your Monday morning, certainly beating what we had late last night. I want to get right to your forecast this morning. What you can expect as you head out to the area bus stops, a pretty warm start. Temperatures around 60 degrees this morning. Eventually, the sky is becoming mostly sunny. However, clouds will be increasing today with rain moving in as early as dinner time. Now, this round would not be severe. Just some scattered light to moderate rain showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. That, of course, continues late tonight into tomorrow morning before the main round, the main event, if you will, tomorrow afternoon into the early evening hours. Now, all of last year, pretty quiet on the severe weather front, really has been for the past few years. Look at this, a moderate risk. That's that shade of red that you see across a large chunk of Northeast Kansas. This is not locked in right now. As the storms fire tomorrow, most of them, of course, will be moving east, but it really depends on how far west they start to fire up. If there's any wiggle room, it would be farther west. So we'll be watching the area very closely, but a serious threat for severe weather exists late tomorrow afternoon into the early evening hours. I'll show you those storms and how they develop here using our KSNT storm track future track by 7 or 8 p.m. tonight. Here comes some scattered showers with clouds increasing south to north. More scattered showers late tonight into tomorrow morning. Then we clear things out tomorrow. And in fact, that's not going to help our situation, just priming the atmosphere a bit more for explosive development of thunderstorms by about 4 or 5 o'clock. You can see those there. We are tracking supercells again tomorrow afternoon and early evening. Here's the threat tracker for Tuesday. Tornadoes are certainly possible. More damaging winds too. Hail is likely and so is heavy rain. I expect some more localized flooding somewhere in northeast Kansas tomorrow, a lot like we saw late last night. Your seven day forecast looks like this. Of course, the threat for severe weather looms tomorrow. Then we catch a break Wednesday and Thursday, drying things out clearing things out and also cooling things down. Daytime temperatures on Thursday will be in the 50s and 60s before more rain moves in to make for a soggy start to the weekend. April showers bring May flowers, they say. We'll have to see more rain chances as we get closer to May 1st, which is Sunday. Katya.